I'm going to show you how to go from $0 to $100 your first day in prison using only the very minimal amount of supplies that every prison gives every inmate their first day before even sending them into the cell block. First, let's start with what are these basic supplies you're given? What are you going to have to help you earn this money your first day? You're going to be given five prison uniforms, a disposable razor, one envelope, two sheets of paper, one unsharpened pencil. Yeah, an, an unsharpened pencil. And that's kind of like they're setting you up right there because that's going to be your first lesson in sharpening and grinding down objects on your concrete prison floor just to get your uh, pencil sharpened. So it kind of teaches you how to make a weapon right there. One cheap deodorant, one cheap bottle of shampoo, toothpaste, toothbrush, one pair of tube socks, one towel, one washcloth, and three pairs of boxers. In addition to these personal kind of hygiene supplies you're given, uh, every inmate is going to get one canvas, like kind of military style duffel bag to carry all your property in uh, to your cell until you're able to unpack it and then you need to return that duffel bag. But it's going to be really important uh, here in a minute. Uh, in addition to this duffel bag, you get two bed sheets, one blanket, one mattress, and if you're lucky, a pillow. First things first, let's start with that duffel bag. Uh, this is important, it's the first thing you wanna do because you don't have a lot of time with it. Uh, they're gonna let you go to your cell, they're not gonna supervise you, there's probably two or three or four of you coming in at a time. They're gonna let you go to your cell, unpack all your stuff, you probably got about 10 to 20 minutes. Um, and then you need to bring the duffel bag back. And they're not going to inspect this duffel bag thoroughly or anything. I mean, they're just, you hand it to them, they'll throw it over there in the, in the collection pile for, you know, to be returned up front to the, to the front of the prison. So don't worry about it. You'll be fine. When you get to your cell, first thing you want to do is you want to bust open your disposable razor. Get that razor blade out of there. You're going to want to make a cut in the strap so that you can remove uh, these metal or brass hooks and clasps that go on these these straps and, 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 the, and the flaps of the bag. Um, usually there's at least one. Uh, if there's two, that's even better. Get as many as you can. Um, cut the strap and remove these metal hooks, these metal clasps, because you're going to need them and they're very valuable. And I'll tell you why. Inmates use these metal hooks, clasps, whatever, um, to create locks for their cells um usually i mean when it, when it's a certain time of day the corrections officer will come around and unlock all the cells um for however many hours a day so that you can come out into the common area and the inmates are able to mingle so you know a lot of inmates uh they don't if they're going in their cell you're not you know if you go back in your cell for a little while while everyone else is out and all your doors are unlocked uh maybe you want to do something in your cell maybe you want to use the bathroom maybe you want to talk to someone privately um, or maybe you just want to get a nap and you don't feel comfortable napping while your door is unlocked and you may have an enemy want to run in there and and try to attack you so inmates use these metal hooks to create locks for their room um, and what they'll do is they'll tear you you know, a very thin um, piece or two pieces, a big long strip off of the end of their bed sheets, and they will braid them together to make a pretty strong, sturdy rope. And they will um, put these hooks, these clasps on one end of that rope, make it real nice and sturdy. And then they'll take the other end of that rope and they'll uh, fasten it to something that's cemented into the cell, into the ground, like your bed frame, your bunk bed frame, the pole, something that's not going to move if you yank it. Um, so they'll fasten it to that and then they find a way to jam it. There's all types of ways to do it, but you can jam it into somewhere on your door to where if someone tries to pull it open from the outside... It's not going to move um, because you have that rope and unless the inmate goes and un, you know unjams that lock from the door uh, you can't get in there so it's a very valuable thing a lot of people need it they want it for peace of mind and uh, you are gonna have absolutely no problem selling it because it doesn't come around very often you only see him when you get a brand new inmate coming in with a duffel bag if he even knows to remove it 
okay so uh, you definitely want to do that and those go for about 20 25 bucks because they're so rare uh, you can get about 20 bucks let's just let's just lowball it you can get about 20 bucks for that easy uh, I told you to grab as many as you can if you can at least get two because you're probably gonna want one for yourself you're gonna want a lock too and trust me if you watch to the end of this video and you use all the steps and the tips to earn your hundred dollars on your first day well you're probably gonna want a lock so nobody goes and tries to take your hundred dollars worth of stuff next is your pencil uh, now I, I don't understand why they do this this way but in my prisons uh, they give you that unsharpened pencil your first day there but then at the commissary they don't sell pencils they only sell ink pens and they don't give you an ink pen your first day there so it's it's kind of backwards who knows why they do it but uh, point is this makes pencils hard to come by um, and I'll tell you who pencils are valuable to the artists there are artists there's gonna be at least one in in every dorm most likely um, there's guys who design artwork for inmates to send to their loved ones out there they may design cards during Christmas Valentine's Day the birthday you know inmates will buy this stuff and send it to their loved one out there um, you know maybe they want them to design a tattoo you know you need a good artist to design a tattoo if there's gonna be another inmate in there who does tattoos and he needs something to go off of maybe he can't draw he just knows how to do the tattoos he knows how to work a tattoo gun and and do that so um, artists are valuable and they need these uh, pencils because it helps them a lot better with their shading and just I mean from what I've seen I'm no artist but <laughs> from the artists I've known in prison they prefer pencils there's a lot that they can do with them artistically and uh, yeah they're valuable to them so I would seek out the artist that's in that dorm and uh, trade him the pencil now is a pencil gonna get you a lot of money probably not he might give you like one ramen noodle soup but if you want to get the most out of that pencil I would say it, I mean it's a brand new unsharpened full pencil it's gonna last you a while um, I would say you can have it just draw me something either a small tattoo a card something just you can have it just draw me something and whatever he draws whether it's you know whatever he comes up with um, I would sell that maybe he draws a, a holiday card it depends on what time of year it is if you're doing this and it's it's close to um, Christmas it's close to Valentine's Day you know or maybe you just get a tattoo drawn it's gonna be valuable to somebody more valuable than your than you know that just the pencil so instead of trading that pencil for a soup to the artist I would trade it to him in exchange for just a, a piece of artwork nothing nothing just ridiculously fancy or, or time-consuming but whip something up for me you know then I would take that and I'd go sell it for anywhere to about five to ten bucks okay so let's just say it's probably gonna be another ten bucks when you find the right buyer next up uh, your five uniforms it shouldn't be that difficult for you to part with one of your five uniforms okay if you if you get rid of one these are all brand new crispies they'll got the creases in them look like they just came off the rack these uniforms and those are valuable when they're in that condition because a lot of inmates want to they, they want to buy it for what they call a, a visitation uniform they want it to be crispy creased pristine uniform you know I mean that's you know that that's how you look your best in there okay it's important to these guys all right um, so they'll buy a, a, a new inmates brand new uniform um, for a visitation uniform and they'll keep it in the in the locker they won't touch it they won't wear it until they have a visit so they can have this nice uniform on and look their best for their loved ones you know um, so if you get rid of one you still have four more that's that's three days of wearing it and then on your fourth day wear your fourth uniform and wash your three uniforms and then repeat I mean you should be fine getting rid of one uniform and these uniforms can go for I would say minimum 25 could be 30 bucks okay so that's always a good move your first day people are probably gonna be beating down your door to make you offers for those uniforms next uh, the pillow yeah not everybody gets a pillow or you know they usually get lost throughout the years uh, for the ones who did get one um, everyone's supposed to get a pillow but the problem is from my experience they always run out and they never you know they hardly ever have them when they're supposed to um, so a lot of times the newer inmates will come in and just if they have them they'll give them to them and those are the most likely to have these pillows um, if you have a pillow I mean I'm, we're not talking like top of the line just man your head is resting on a cloud pillow I mean it's it's a, it's a sad excuse for a pillow it's a prison pillow so um, you're probably better off just taking 
some clothes, maybe part of a sheet. I don't know. Come up with your way, your own way to make your own pillow out of other stuff. It's probably going to be more comfortable, but for, for several reasons, people want the actual prison issued pillows and um, because they're so rare and hard to come by easily you'll get 25 bucks for one after you've done that you've unpacked your stuff you've secured your lock you've sold all those main items um, you're gonna start going door to door okay um, you're gonna offer a shoe cleaning service okay now before you judge or, or get any ideas in your head or be like oh I'm not I'm not going to do that uh, cleaning shoes is not looked down upon in prison it's it's a hustle and any hustle is respectable, okay? You're, you're adding something to the community. Whether you like it or not, a cell block in prison is a neighborhood. And either you're adding to the neighborhood or you're taking away from the neighborhood. And, you know, these guys, they'll you can buy New Balance, these white New Balance sneakers off the commissary. You can only buy one pair every six months. So you got to keep them clean. Could they do it themselves? Yeah. Do they do it? You, not really. <laughs> and uh, a lot of guys make good money just cleaning shoes. Maybe 20 minutes max of work and you're going to get 10 bucks for it. Out of all those people in that dorm, you will find at least one on that day who's going to get you to clean their shoes. And that's easy. 10 bucks. But the thing is, after that, you do a good job. They're going to come back to you. And, and those type of hustles, uh, you get recommendations and it's word of mouth uh, clientele and people see you doing it. And you, I mean, as long as you don't <laughs> destroy the shoes, they're going to come to you, and that's going to be a continuous hustle and, and a continuous way to make 10 bucks easy. Now, a similar hustle to that. Um, you can get a contract set up with an inmate on a quick room cell cleaning. Okay, um, That's another respectable thing. People are glad for it. Um, it's not looked down upon. It's appreciated. These guys appreciate it. They don't want to do it themselves. They're, they're appreciative of you for doing it. Okay, And they're all too happy to set up a contract, a weekly contract. Maybe you come in there two to three times a week. Um, and, and all you're going to do is come in there in the morning, sweep up the cell. It's not like you're making beds and folding laundry and stuff. Sweep up the cell real quick. They'll clear it out for you. If there's chairs and stuff on the floor, it's their job to get it up. You just go in there and sweep and then mop the floors sweep and mop the floors it's just a quick cell cleaning and then you're done they'll get you to do that two or three times a week in exchange for $25 up front there and they'll do it you'll get a lot of guys who are gonna hire you on a weekly contract so once per week you're gonna get 25 bucks just for doing that and I, easily I've seen so many people do this hustle you're gonna have at least three to five people if not more but I can guarantee you three to five people a week doing this contract with you and, and you're making 75 100 bucks a week off that so that's a great hustle, especially on your first day. You're going around, you're taking the initiative, you're socializing with people. It's a good way to introduce and, and meet some people under the right circumstances and show them, hey, I'm here to respectably earn a living, provide for myself. I'm not here to steal and to rob and to cause trouble. I'm here to offer some good, productive, helpful services to this community, to this cell block and get a respectable pay for it. So that first day, minimum, one guy will do it and there's 25 bucks. So there you have it, coming in slightly over $100 on your first day. Um, if you liked this video, if you like these type of uh, prison guides, let me know and I'll be glad to make more. Please like the video, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be back soon with another.